Hope you guys are all okay and all good. Welcome to another video. My name is George. For those of you who don't know, feel free to subscribe down below if you're not already. And today, it is not the video I planned to put up this Wednesday, but it is the video you are getting this Wednesday. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about No Big Deal by Bethany Rutter. And no Big Deal by Bethany Rutter is a book that was given to me by Jess from Pan Macmillan. Um, so, ad gifted, I guess. Um, I haven't, so this has been gifted to me by the publisher. I have not been asked to make a review. I have not been asked to talk about it in any way whatsoever. However, um, this book is fantastic and I wanted to tell you all about it. It is rare that I read a book so quickly. I know I said this with Alex in Wonderland as well, but it is rare that I will sit down and I will just like blitz through like an entire book in basically a day. Um, but I started reading this, um, last Saturday on my way to my friend Beth and Josh's fifth wedding anniversary. Um, I was on my way there. Um, and I'd like written on the train in and then I got on the tube and thought I don't want to write on the tube So I decided to read a book um, and I just so happened to pick this up um, on my way out the door because I've been wanting to read it for quite a while like I Full disclosure. Um, I used to work at Pan Macmillan. So I read like a really early draft of this. So I'd not like Read like the finished product. So um, I was really looking forward to reading it again and kind of seeing what I changed and seeing and seeing what it was like now Because when I read it the first time it was already pretty freaking great. So like I was really excited to read a fully finished version. So um, I picked it up and decided to start reading it on my tube there. I read like 120 pages between like on the tube journey there and the tube journey back. And then like, I didn't read it for a couple of days cause I was doing things. And then me and Jordan headed into London on Tuesday and I was reading it on the tube again. This has just become a tube book. And I just fell head over heels in love with it. No Big Deal by Bethany Russell is about a teenage girl called Emily Daly uh, who knows she's funny, she knows she's fantastic, she knows she dresses well, and she knows that she is fat. She loves herself and she loves her body. She is proud of who she is. First of all, before we even get further into the book and the plot, what a fantastic message for a book. Um, this is the book that has the quote from Julie Murphy on the front of it as well that says, an iconic love song to everyone who knows that life isn't one size fits all. So before we even get into the book, what a fantastic message about like self po self love and body positivity um, that is so very much needed. Um, so first of all, that. The book follows um, Emily and sh she is in the last, uh, in her final year of A-levels at college. So she, so she's like 17, about to be 18. Oh, so actually it's between the end of summer and it finishes around New Year. So it's like the first term um, of her last year of A-levels. So she's having to sort out um, her university applications and just trying to figure out what she's gonna do with her life. So it's that moment of great change uh, where all good books seem to come from, that moment of great change um, in someone's life. While she's doing that, all of her friends seem to be getting with boys um, and kind of exploring their sexuality and things. And she feels like she's the only one who is not doing that. So um, she wants to find a boy um, and I don't know, kiss him a little bit and kind of have some fun. She's kind of scared that she's missing out on something. And, and, and the thing that worries her is whether or not it's her or whether it's her body that's holding her back. Um, then she meets a boy and that boy's name is Joe and Joe is all dark and brooding and mysterious and likes cool music um, and works in the local record shop. And so she uh, starts pursuing that um, as an option. I'm gonna leave it there in terms of describing a plot because I don't wanna give away too much about what's going on, but what you have um, in No Big Deal, I love this book so much, just like straight off the bat, I'm just gonna tell you that I love this book so very much. I think it's got a fantastic message. I think it's a great story um, to, I think it's a great story, a, a great addition to like YA in general. I think more stories should be written like this about um, body positive um, fat protagonists who don't feel like they need to lose weight to find love or to be successful, who are just happy in who they are. Um, and that's what this book has. Um, so I love that. Um, I think Emily has a fantastic voice generally. I think it's funny. Um, I think it's nice to have a main character that's so confident in themselves. And I also think that like, while she does portray this confident exterior, there is an inner insecurity there that I think comes across really well. She comes across really real and quite genuine, which I think um, is nice. I think she comes across really well and she comes across as a real person. Um, and the kind of person that I think I would like to be, um, who can kind of sit there and be like, yeah, do you know what? I'm really great. Um, and why wouldn't you want to date me? And why wouldn't you want to be my friend? I'm great. Um, and kind of be having that self-assuredness without being cocky, like she knows that she's a decent person and she knows that she is a decent human being and she's a nice per and that she's a great person and why wouldn't people want to hang out with her and having that self-love and that self-awareness is something that a lot of people need and it's kind of nice to see it um in a book because it can kind of 
give people that little nudge nudge wink wink that it's okay that like it's okay to kind of practice self-love and kind of feel that you are oh my god this is going into a weird place anyway it's great for that i loved her voice i thought it was really funny i thought it was really witty um i think the cast of characters is really interesting i think she has a really lovely um group of friends and a great network um i think things that happen to her friends because her friend camilla comes back from holiday this happens really early this is not a spoiler is that a spoiler something happens with her friend camilla really early on in the book i don't think i should say because it, it feels like it's some kind of a spoiler but um that kind of messes with her head a little bit. But I think it's a really great cast of characters and they all kind of bring something different. And I also think I really like the fact that Emily gives really good advice when, it ter when it's in terms of like relationships and in terms of like um, how to conduct yourself. Like it's without being preachy, like it's sort of like just common sense and being a decent human being. And I think it's, I don't know, I could see Bethany Ratter writing some kind of like teen life advice book or something. I think that would be something that, and, and it comes across in this that she kind of is good at giving that kind of, um, pep talkiness which is really nice I thoroughly enjoyed the book every chapter head has like a um, song underneath it as well because music is quite a heavy focus in the book um, so every chapter head has like a song underneath it um, which I found really fun especially when it was a song that I knew um, and when it's a song that I didn't I went and listened to it which kind of it adds it adds like another layer to the chapter when you can like listen to the song that seems to kind of tie it all together um, which is lush and also and I feel like I should mention this because I don't know how many people read these kinds of things um, the author's note at the end. There's an author's note at the end from Bethany Russa, um, which is so, so great. Like, I don't always read an author's note. I don't always read them. I always read the acknowledgements because acknowledgements are really interesting to me, but I don't always read the author's note. But I read the author's note in this one. And I don't know why, but something made me do it. Um, and I think if you do read this book, you should read the author's note too, because it's really interesting and really like, oh, um, it's basically like an ode to self-love and kind of being kinder to yourself and surrounding yourself with people that lift you up rather than people that tear you down um which i think is something that emily does and i think it's a good practice to kind of find the people that aren't toxic in your life um and surround yourself with them so that they can help turn you into a great person does that make any sort of sense i feel like this is a big old ramble basically this book is fantastic um if you liked dumpling by julie murphy you will love this book um it's so good similar message but with like a uk slant on it and obviously different things going on it's two completely different books but if you enjoyed dumpling you would really love this yeah i thought this book was really fantastic i think bethany rosa has a great voice whatever she i can't wait to see what she's going to write next because if it's as voicey and funny and wry and knowing as this is i think it's gonna be great i really really loved this book i thought it was fantastic um and i think that if you're a fan of dumpling with julie murphy you'll really love it um it's a really lovely uplifting um body positive voicey funny quirky YA novel and I thought it was great yeah so a little short video for you on it there <laughs> I don't know whether you guys enjoy single book reviews feel free to let me know down below if single book reviews are something you're even interested in but um yeah I just thought I'd come and I would talk to you about how much I loved this book because I finished it yesterday and felt the need to sit down and say words which obviously means it's had a decent enough impact on me so it's obviously a good enough it's had a profound enough impact on me that I want to talk to you about it but yeah that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to put a like on it and to subscribe if you want to see more. I love each and every one of your faces. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know if you have read this or if you know of any other like body positive YA novels. I would love to read a few more, I think. Um, I love each and every one of your faces and I'll speak to you as soon as I possibly can. Bye.